People choose the Gulf Coast over the East Coast for the sunsets, stunning white sandy beaches, crystal blue warm waters, and quainter lifestyle. But where exactly should you consider living on the West Coast? So today we're going to explore the top five places to consider on the Gulf Coast. The places I will mention in this video, I've been to personally. I will include larger cities, smaller cities, beach towns, and more affordable places to live in in order to provide you with different options. And most of these places have also been nominated by US News as the top Florida places to consider. Now my name is Katrin Fitzenreiter. I'm a marketing professional and realtor in Sarasota County. All right, in no particular order, let's just get started. Tampa. Tampa is one of the largest cities in Florida and is a city in Hillsborough County. The median age is about 36 years. This city is currently drawing in many types of generations, but also millennials who can now work remote and want to take advantage of big city amenities, the warm climate and no income tax. Zillow named Tampa is the hottest housing market in 2022. Out of all five places mentioned in this video, Tampa is the most urban. And for those that appreciate a faster paced urban city, Tampa is a business hub with many top ranking companies in the area, including IBM, Fisher Investments, and Cisco. The Tampa Convention Center is the host of big name events and is in the heart of downtown with stunning water views of the bay, surrounded by an abundance of restaurants and shopping places. The closest Gulf Beach to Tampa is Clearwater, which is approximately 45 minutes away in good traffic. If you're looking to be closer to a beach, then Tampa is probably not going to be a deal for you. But fear not, as Tampa offers beautiful bay water views from many different locations downtown. For example, you can head to the the convention center for views or venture into a neighborhood called Davis Island to one of the parks for stunning water views. Now one of my favorite things to do downtown is to stroll on the river walk which is a 2.6 mile trail along the Hillsborough River or you can head over to the Bayshore Boulevard walkway for a 4.5 mile walk along scenic views of the Tampa Bay and also waterfront mansions. The mansions are gorgeous along that stretch but for tourists Tampa is arguably best known for its attractions such as Bush Gardens or Ybor City. Ybor City is designated as a National Historic Landmark District and it's known for Latin American eateries, including Columbia Restaurant and Cuban cigar makers. Per niche.com, Hillsborough County ranks number 28 of 69 school districts and number one of the most diverse school district in all of Florida. The median cost for a single family home in Tampa is estimated $381,000 as of January. But of course, the cost will fluctuate depending on where you live in Tampa. Now choose Tampa if you're looking for urban living, a faster paced lifestyle, more job opportunities and a conveniently close location from a commute standpoint to St. Petersburg and Clearwater. St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg sits between Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast and is part of Pinellas County. It is nicknamed as the Sunshine City because the city holds the longest stretch of sunshine in the country per the Guinness World Record. St. Petersburg has a population of over 261,000 and is the second largest city in the Tampa Bay area. And very similarly to Sarasota, St. Petersburg has a thriving arts and theater scene and is close to award-winning beaches, which includes St. Pete Beach, Upham Beach, and Pasigrill Beach. The downtown waterfront area is the heart and soul of St. Petersburg, and this is truer than ever with the updated pier which opened in 2020. The pier offers amazing views to downtown St. Petersburg, and there's also so much to do for all ages. Now, the downtown area is so vibrant with top-rated restaurants, bars, breweries, and cultural attractions. It is here where the famous Salvador Dali Museum is actually located, which has the U.S. largest collections of Dali's work. Walk down Central Avenue and you will feel like you are in Greenwich Village New York. There always seems to be something to do in St. Petersburg, which also includes an abundance of festivals throughout the year. And it's these types of events that St. Petersburg puts on that reinforces the creative and open-minded spirit that is St. Petersburg. The median age is close to 43, and naturally the younger professionals are drawn to the area for the vibrant downtown amenities. Per niche.com, Pinellas County Schools District ranks 13 out of 69 districts in Florida. The median cost for a single family home in St. Petersburg is about $355,000 as of January. Here's a general rule of thumb, and that is the closer you get to downtown St. Petersburg and the Bay, the more expensive the properties, and the further inland you go, so away from the Bay, the cheaper the properties. If you're looking for a vibrant, fun, hip, and artsy city experience, and you still want to be close to top-rated beaches, then St. Petersburg might be interesting for you to look into. 
Sarasota. Sarasota is a city on the west coast of Florida. It has become very popular, especially over the last few years, for the beautiful landscape, top-rated beaches, and culture activities. It was actually voted as the number one place to retire and number ninth place to live in per U.S. News. Sarasota is unique in that it offers a lot of different points of interest and lifestyles just a short drive away. Downtown Sarasota is fast-growing with many top-rated restaurants and lounges, rooftop bars, and a vibrant art scene. The beaches are not far away and there's so many beaches to choose from. Siesta Key is probably the most well-known beach due to how wide the beach is and the powdery like sand that is made out of 99% quartz. But there's so many other beaches to choose from including Crescent and Turtle Beach which are on Siesta Key and the beaches on Lido Key. Besides the beautiful beaches, people in the area enjoy the Legacy Trail for biking or running, Mayaka State Park for nature watching, theater and arts and museum venues including the Van Wesel, the Florida Studio Theater and the Ringling. The median age is 49 years Years old. Now, the area attracts a variety of different types of people, including young families, professionals, and retirees. Sarasota County has one of the top school systems in Florida. Per niche.com, Sarasota County ranks number one in safest school district and number two in best school districts in Florida. And so, of course, a lot of families with young children will want to live in Sarasota. Pine View High School ranks number two in Florida and number 29 in the U.S. per U.S. News. The median cost for a single-family home in Sarasota Sarasota was about $490,000 in January, which is relatively in line with the U.S. average housing costs right now. And so if you're looking to live in a visually stunning environment with everything close by, top-rated beaches and schools, a vibrant arts and theater scene, and a buzzing downtown area, then Sarasota might be it for you. Venice. Venice is a small beach town just to the south of Sarasota and is part of Sarasota County. Venice used to be thought of as a sleepy beach town, but that's all changing. In 2020, Coastal Living named Venice one of the best places to live on the coast and back in 2015, it actually made the happiest seaside towns in America list. The current population is half the size of Sarasota, about 23,000 and increasing. Venice has become a very desirable place to live in because of its beautiful beaches, but quainter, laid back lifestyle versus what Sarasota to the north has to offer. Venice is also more affordable with a median sales price for a single family home of about $441,000 as of January. And homes can range anywhere from 100,000 well into a million dollars depending depending on the location of the neighborhood. Just like in Sarasota, there are beautiful beaches in Venice, including Venice Beach, Caspersen Beach, which is also known as the shark tooth capital of the world, and Brohar Beach, where the famous fishing pier is. Right on Brohar Beach is waterfront dining, which is so much fun with great views. You have the option to go to Sharky's on the pier, or Finn's, which is a more upscale restaurant experience. And then to the south of Brohar Beach is Brohar Paw Park, Sarasota County's only dog-friendly beach where dogs are allowed to run around freely. There's a lot to do in Venice in terms of outdoor activities. There are lots of trails and parks for outdoor enthusiasts, which includes the Venetian Waterway Park, which is a popular 8.6 mile biking and walking trail with awesome views to the intracoastal waterway. Though much smaller than downtown Sarasota, Venice also has a historic quaint downtown area on Venice Island with cute shops, restaurants, and the Venice Theater. The average age of those living in Venice is estimated 69 versus 49 for Sarasota. And though Venice leans older than Sarasota, the averages will likely evolve, right? As a lot of younger people are also drawing to and moving into the Venice area. Venice is the Sarasota County, which we talked about earlier, is a top rated school district in Florida. And so if you're looking to live in a beach town that is somewhat quainter, less expensive than Sarasota, but you still want to be in a good school district, if that's important to you, then Venice may be a place for you to look into further. Naples. Naples is a city in southwest Florida in Calia County. Now this city is probably best known for its high-end shopping, luxury real estate options, and golf courses. U.S. News ranked Naples as the best place to live in all of Florida. Now the Naples downtown area includes 3rd Street South, the Bayfront, 5th Avenue South, Creighton Cove, and Tin City. The downtown area is relatively small, it doesn't have high-rise buildings or roof deck bars, and instead feels more like a quaint small neighborhood with upscale restaurants nevertheless, stores, and galleries. And right from downtown you can walk to the Naples Fish 
Glacier Pier, which is famous. On the pier, you have beautiful water views and views of the Naples Pier Beach, which is arguably Naples' most popular beach. Some of the most sought after golfing communities in Florida are right in Naples. There's over 80 championship courses. Rumor has it that there are more holes per capita in Naples than anywhere else in the world. Crazy, right? Well-known golf courses include TPC Treviso Bay and Pelican's Nest. If you're the kind of person that just enjoys luxury shopping, then you're gonna love Waterside Place, which is an open air mall and includes such shops as Rolex, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton. There are plenty of other shopping opportunities. There's the Village Shops on Venetian Bay, which is another popular shopping destination. And there's about 45 waterfront retailers that offer personalized customer service. The median cost for a single family home in Naples will be well over $500,000. Now from all the five places we're speaking about in this video, Naples will be the most expensive place from a real estate perspective. And so as you can imagine, Naples has some of the most beautiful and luxurious waterfront properties. This city continues to be very popular with snowbirds who come here for a few months out of the year, typically during the winter month, prior to going back up north to their other home. Approximately 22,000 live in Naples full time, but add the snowbirds in the winter and that number will more than easily double. The median age is about 66. So Naples has historically been a retirement community, but that is changing with the influx of younger generations. Per niche.com, Calia County School District ranks number six out of 69. People often choose between Sarasota and Naples. And here's what I have to say. If you're looking for an upscale real estate market, top golf courses and a luxury shopping experience, then you may want to consider Naples. If you're looking for top rated beaches, a top school system, a lively downtown area with plenty of culture arts venues to choose from, then you may want to consider Sarasota. I always recommend that you come and you visit some of these places that you may be interested in before you make a drastic decision, such as buying real estate property. If you're looking for real estate properties in Sarasota County, I would love to team up with you. I'm here to help you. If you learned something new today, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe for Real Florida Insights that you can trust. Thank you so much for watching until the very end. I always appreciate when you do. Take care.